Good morning. We're live with Jay Moore. Jay, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, On the captain's log. Right right now? Yeah. Where are the, cam- where are the cameras? <laughs> All right. Up so, here. yeah, yeah, we're live, buddy. Thanks for joining me. That's really nice. Look it's, at Aldo back there. The Aldo's so in the back. And uh, we just left Publix doing a little uh, <laughs> doing a little toothbrush action. Yeah, I had to freshen up. I had to tighten up my kitchen, man. I had to... For the show. To- the answer is yes. Toothbrush. Yes. Not for the show, for uh, just general hygiene. And I left in a hurry this morning because you woke me up at balls o'clock to do radio. You got in late too, huh? Yeah, we didn't go... We weren't there until what, 1.30? What? No, we left at 12.30. We left Charlotte at 12.30, so we got in like 1.45 too. It's how long did it take you to get here featuring Captain Brian? No, I just wanted to say hi. I mean, first, you know, you take your clothes off, so I wanted to make sure that we put your pants back on before we start the show. They can't see my pants. No, I mean, just from the waist up. Aldo, so, Aldo yes. uh, what's it like traveling with this guy all the time? It's enlightening. Yeah, you love it? Enlightening, yeah. It's uh, it's uh, funny, smart, and uh, you're normally surprised by some of the wit that he comes up with. With yeah, the, he, uh, the wit. If I'm a, by the way, brother, thank you. And Aldo's one of the first guys. Aldo is not Chuck Liddell. Why is everything backwards? That's my... Look, it's right, though, because it says live on air. You see that? No, I know it's right. But when I watch porno, I'm like, all POV shots, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of lefties. <laughs> it's because they're filming, it gets turned around. Yeah, it gets flipped. So, Aldo's a wrestling coach. He's not Chuck Liddell. And he looks good, though. He's the best wrestling coach I've ever... I'm a wrestling coach good, because of good. him. He's the guy that invited me to wrestle uh, and coach in his room, rather. And uh, So, anyway... So, I shouldn't challenge him to a wrestling match? No, that'd be great. That would? Yeah. <laughs> be good? Well, you can... You scrap. But, um... The thing is with him is he's the first guy to hung out with me that the answer to that question wasn't like, oh, geez, don't get me started. My whole life it's been that. Yeah. And he's the first guy to go, it's enlightening. It's really neat. Like, like thank you. I like it, though. I like I, I think we're on the same vibe. You and I? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, we're fishing at a golf course. I'm standing <laughs> on a gator. I'm, try, I'm riding a gator, uh, a Western style. <laughs> we got, we're we going fishing today or tomorrow? We'll figure it out. Are you in the mood? Are you, you feeling it? I this guy I, fishes. Dude. I almost, he fishes I almost, 24/7. Yeah, I almost said a word that would ban me from things. <laughs> something, I, something, you know, please. He, bring, he gives me bass from the from the uh, Malibu coast. Yeah. Some oh. people call it the Pacific. I call it the Malibu. The coast. ocean. The ocean. <laughs> I fish from my paddleboard. I told you this. Yeah, I seen it. Calico sea bass are like. Like you got viewers here. Let's show them your titties or something. <laughs> We're just watching. We're just hanging out. I mean, at J Moore thirty seven. Yeah, on, tell them uh, how they can they find you. That's at- bareback Aldo. <laughs> uh, J Moore thirty seven Instagram and Twitter and. What's your favorite city? Uh, Private delights to tour. My favorite city yeah. is uh, Denver. Uh, the cl- that club is. I don't know. It, there's like everything's perfect in a weird way. Mm-hmm. Like it's the energy. It's, I can't really explain it. And so I like coming here a lot because I grew up in New Jersey. Florida's our Hawaii. Yeah, this is where everyone comes, right? Well, we got out in the parking lot, the other radio station, uh, on, uh, the Freak Show. Yeah. yeah. By the way, shout out to the Freak Show. I love that guy. They oh, do great. Yeah. What's the dude's name? Flying Brian. So it's Flying Brian, Ramo G, and Brittany Gonzalez. But, those... but let's make no mistake about it. Flying Brian is the show. He, but he's also working with his own board. Yeah. It's like a, it, it's like Hendrix has his own tech. <laughs> and he, he, well, it was Hendrix. And his own lyricist, that was Hendrix. Never mind. That's oh, yeah, true. those guys were great. But we got out in the parking lot. Out there goes, humid. I was like, nice. You like it? Love it. It's good for the skin. I think, it? It, I think so. I feel like it keeps my skin nice and, uh, like, not so dry and tight. I thought yeah. it was your AZT cocktails. No, that's Botox. The Botox oh, okay. is helping a little. So, off the hook, how's it going at your uh, giant restaurant where you put some boxes that we stand I put a new stage. stage in. A what? I put a new stage, new lights, and a new green room. <coughs> Just for you. <coughs> Excuse me. How do you like that? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> you know, I, I Why? did that. Why'd you do all that? Uh, because we've been recording so many sets now for all uh, this it's Facebook, all, YouTube, It's Instagram. all funneling into your social media. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's why. I'm like, it's, no comment goes to lights and they're really good, man. It's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> but what happened was, is I had like a bad wash for the cameras. So I had to come up with a, a whole new lighting plot. Might be and right. now it's yeah. amazing for the pictures and camera recording. Wait, so when you would film comedians, when you watch the film or tape, yeah. they'd be like washed white out, like too bright. Yeah, for, yeah. And, and then that, you'd have to correct it somehow. If it you didn't to even correct. It was so bad. So why don't you turn on the lights? We tr we tried. We did everything, but then I ended up like re like getting a new lighting uh, bar kind of set up, and it looks real good now. Like every picture you take looks literally like IG ready. Literally? Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally IG ready. Do people ready. talk less at the bar during the show? Uh, we don't sit anyone at the bar anymore. Maybe there, did we sit people around the bar before? You bring in the headliners. You put them where you can put them. <laughs> we just pack them in. You got six shows this weekend. That stuns me. I That's a how, lot. I don't know how I agree to that. <laughs> it's because I fish really well, and you. It was a, like we had a little bet. If I beat you in fishing, then you had to do six shows I'll the next. I win time. at fishing. fishing. Catch more fish. Catch yeah, more fish. Yeah, but that's. It's not like shooting fish in a barrel. We gotta catch them. Yeah. That's the thing. Is like I'm so competitive. That we were so competitive back but and forth. It's also, if you're catching them. I am actually happy you are catching Yeah, them. it doesn't matter it's not like who golf catches. like where people go, oh, that's a good shot. I'm like, man, fuck this guy and his fucking shot. <laughs> right. He fucking beat me at golf. When you go fishing, it's kind of like, like that means you versus fish the for fish. Me. Yeah, you versus the fish. But I don't know why that day you were catching them and I wasn't. And now. Because I'm a captain. I know. <laughs> you have what, a steakhouse? <laughs> yeah. Beef heart? <laughs> Tennille? <laughs> captain uh, Lou Albano. You're Captain Lou Albano. Yeah. You are. I really liked your... What does it mean? Uh, no other guy that's a captain says he's a captain outside of his boat. No, this is true. Is that is that what they do? In Florida, I think it's a thing. Did you just disagree, agree at the same time <laughs> in a voice that was both... No, no, <laughs> no. This, is tr this is true. <laughs> that was... Yeah, was funny. See, uh, how, yeah. remember we were talking about last night? Yeah, I tried to bring you... Yeah, I, I, I reeled penis? you in. I reeled you in. Wait, then. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. kind of an idiot names his place off the hook? The whole point is getting him on the hook. Well, That's I'm, when there's bars. Especially if you're a captain, right? If your captain is right, Aldo. Is he Mike? Uh, is he Mike? He's not Mike. Aldo, you have to speak up. Use, yeah, that, yeah, use that coaching voice. We don't yell. You don't? Nope. What do you do? To. If you yell is at it a discipline? Is it discipline? If you, I'm going to tell you. If you yell at a racehorse, don't expect it to listen to you when you whisper. Ah. So you whisper to the racehorse, and one day you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the thing goes, whoa, just, it just stops what it's doing and listens to you. Yeah. So you guys are really like, is this a new school way of thinking? Because I played baseball in college, and my whole life I got yelled at That's by right. coaches. You ball. Well, we got yelled at too. But you well, guys we are also changing assholes. it up? We were also uh, assholes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just he don't think teaches. it's the smartest way to do it. Yeah. Like you feel you like said, they got to be more like mentally you're coached. At you, like, I'd rather talk to you. Mm -hmm. like, when Aldo does coaching-wise, that impressed me the most. Was he was teach kids a move. When I was there, you were, I didn't remember what you were teaching. It was some finish was off some of defense, yeah. It, it was defense like from a single, but you were already knees on the mat. And when he was done, he would go, and see what you can find in there that you like. One, two. So now he teaches them something, but every kid in the room is actively looking for windows. Something that they to, like. And it's a defensive mood. Yeah. Move. It's a defensive move. Christopher Walken, wrestling coach. <laughs> but your best defense is offense. Wayne Gretzky said, if I have the puck, you can't score. <laughs> He's right. So Hamza El Saudi took fifth in California for us. That's and the dude that you coach? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I used it the last six weeks of his senior year. Yeah. When I hopped on. Great kid. Moved here from Iraq. Didn't speak any English. Like it. It, did he, does he grade? wrestle in, in college now? He's going to go to Cerritos next year. Yeah. Nice. He's going to. So in the middle of this drill, he goes, oh, hey, hey, coach, coach, check this out. And the kid figured out just like a mousetrap in the middle of this defensive move. He just did some weird thing, and he actually discovered a move. Like, no. Really? And then we practiced, and then we had, he, Aldo had him show it, and then we drilled on that. So... He's a brilliant coach, and see what you can find in this that you like. You can't say to a running back, and once you get to the A gap, just see what you like. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a route tree for the receivers. There's this. Yeah. So, Aldo, did do you uh, attribute that to a coaching that you had coming up? No, not at all. 
Um, <laughs> All right, then. I had a baseball coach trying to teach us wrestling. Yeah. No, I always say God bless him because he started the program, but uh, he really didn't have a lot of knowledge. But, no, but he I tried. He, came, he did. He, he didn't wrestle? Huh? He didn't wrestle? No. No. Really? Yeah. He never wrestled. But you were on the national team. That was after I graduated. Aldo was on the United States national team. What? Did you, did you wrestle in college or did you go right I to wrestled, How does that work? I went get into freestyle. College. Just getting... Couldn't get in college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I started wrestling freestyle. More won all these open around. tournaments and I started wrestling for colleges illegally. In 84, I was a prodigy. Um, I wrestled in the Olympic trials. I beat Kenny Monday, who won the Olympics in 88. Wow. That yeah, was pretty cool. That's impressive. He's impressive. Did you see? Stints. Yeah. <laughs> Have you see, did you see that uh, arm wrestling video where the girl busts the guy's arm right in the middle well, of Do me a favor, just smash your wheel to the left and go into this ditch for us. Right now? You're gonna Because you hate what it. What he just said about being in the United States. It's National amazing. Game, and you're like, do you see that thing about people arm wrestling? <laughs> well, I want to see if he likes that. Maybe he uh, watches a lot of Instagram. Arm wrestling. Somebody snapping somebody's arm, arm wrestling. Yeah, it's interesting. He uses his whole body. It's, I agree, but what I know about wrestling can fit in a thimble. I know that you, Coach, <laughs> what you and know Adam about Hunt, arm wrestling can fit in a smaller thimble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Brock, uh, I know that you, the, Coach, over the top, Kenny is, Loggins, that's yeah, all you know. Yeah. Meet me halfway. What about the guys, what about the coaches that, like, make the kids run in, like, full jumpsuits and trash yeah, bags? Yeah, we don't make them do it. But, no, but that's a thing still, or is well, that gone? No, we do, no, they actually, you, you, what do you weigh? weigh? Uh, one, up, one eight seventy eight. One seventy eight. Okay, so you're gonna wrestle hypothetically. You do your body fat and all that, and safely you go all the way to one sixty. Really? I want to be one sixty this weekend. I got a pool party. That'd be great. That'd look good. Why am I here this weekend? Yeah, because I know what your kind of pool party means. <laughs> it's Seymour, it's Seymour this butts. weekend. Kiss, it's, kiss it's, of sins. See more butts. Yeah, it's Cinco de Mayo pool party Saturday. Pool party. Not pool. like day after tomorrow. Yeah. Aldo, I need, yeah. to, I need to take eight pounds off this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tell me how I can cut eight pounds. That'd be beautiful. Well, but, it's funny because they they well, really watch it tight now. They yeah, they like the you, get, you get your body so mass, down. you get your yeah. percentage of all that. So if you got to go to one sixty, you know, we're talking about that's in, eight. That's eighteen pounds. No, no, listen, we're talking about in August. Oh, our first actual. I got you. Match is in November. Right, right, right. So I need to get to that. So Wait. we get to the point where, what's today? Thursday. Yeah, and we're wrestling Saturday, and there's you got eight pounds to go. Then you've been bullshitting me. And you, when you go home, you put something in your body with Heller or orange juice and ice cream. It's crazy. Orange just to make her poop. No, no, because he liked it the way it tasted. That was his. Uh, oh, that was his, oh, that's yeah. what that's what nobody knew until we knew. Like, oh, why is he always over? He drinks a gallon of orange juice every day. Oh my God! Like secret. We yeah. all do it. We all do yeah, it. Yeah, everyone has a good device. So you cut weight, you do your thing, but if you're like running around in plastic bags, that's like, uh-oh, got to lose it right now. Yeah. But does that still happen on the de on the down low? Of course. It yeah, happens in open too because you have to lose weight to get in. Yeah. And that's just water weight. When you okay. see a race car, like picture a NASCAR, there's no passenger seat. Right. It's not needed. Yeah, it's weight, extra weight. There's no visor. There's no... That's a wrestler. Everything extra has got to go. Ow. Every pound that isn't, you know, helping you not, you know, burn lactic acid or not, it's, it's got to go. This is shit that put me to sleep.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this podcast is definitely, we're going to walk the well, plank on the up, captain's you know, you know what? Whenever we talk about coaching on more stories podcasts, people you, will go. You get more? I do. Yeah. Or the ones that I have are like, that one is pretty cool. See, I'm an assistant coach. He's a head coach. The head coach has to run everything. You got to do all the paperwork. You got to get them their uniforms, their warm ups. You got to order them. You got to make sure everything's spelled right. You got to go to the athletic director. You got to talk to parents. Right. You got to get the, what about the end of the year dinner? Like, I don't know. We didn't have a match yet. Yep. In my varsity, like, I don't make the lineup. You guys wrestle whoever wins as well. Like, it's a whole thing. As an assistant coach, I'm with Brian and we just roll. Right, you're working and on the moves. And then I see something across the, the room. Yeah. I go across the room and I wrestle with that guy over yep. there and that girl, yes. her, and him. And while I'm wrestling with Brian, I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. just tuck this in, just tuck this in. Dang, that's it. Yeah. I, when this is open, this window's open, yeah. I can get through here. Hey. You close that window, <laughs> I can't get through there. You know, I got it. I'm going to get in that house, you leave the window. Yeah. So every, next time that 
comes over. My house is closed. You know, yeah. but you can't, as a head coach, you don't have that luxury. I'm not that I'm such a great coach. I'm just, as an I wrestle every killer, day. Though. His analogies are killer because they, they, they How work, do the kids feel sense. when they're like, oh, it's Jay Moore's my coach, man. Oh, you kid, they love it. They go nuts, they right? They have no idea who Jay Moore is. Yeah. No, they just don't coach. What do you, coach Jay or coach Moore? Both, but. Well, yeah, they call you Jay. They call you Jay, don't they? Mm-hmm. Our guys do, but it's yeah. both. Yeah. Beverly Hills, it was Coach Moore. Nice. Well, the thing is, no, he like, comes up with these great analogies, which they love. I noticed that. Like, I, I, I just watch his analogies. They're like, just like the, the windows, windows open. Windows. Yeah, the shit that he comes up with is just great. Yeah, because he's a poet. That's probably it. Yeah. I'll, I'll agree so, with you on that one. If you, if Aldo's going to throw you, right when he goes to throw you, if I froze it and turn the lights off, if I put a flashlight behind you guys, no light should go through the two of you. Ah. He has to, unless a window's open to, for the light to get through. That's cool. Yeah, that, right. So like boxing. Yeah. Like I box before I wrestle. If my, my arms are up like this, you're gonna hit me in the ribs. Ah. So that's, I'm really like nuts about this one. Cause the elbow's going up. I can get through here. Like it's like an octopus. You just, you can get through a space this big. Yeah. We don't need a lot of room. So like wind, the difference between offense and defense is airspace. It's very on interesting. On defense, I gotta create it. On offense, I take it away. I had Dolph I Ziggler. Take your air, or Dolph you know, Ziggler was on my show a couple weeks more ago. more interesting than what I was saying, sure. <laughs> well, absolutely, you Ziggler? know. Who's Dolph Ziggler? Yeah. WWE champion, he was a wrestler, right? All the yeah, way through. All, calm down, remember when I said, who's Dolph Ziggler? <laughs> that means I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Who is, do you know who it is? <laughs> okay, so Dolph is. Oh, we're adults. Uh, is <laughs> he was a he was a. Uh, he just laid out the whole thing about analogies. Yeah. And then I went to give you one, and right telling you, Dolph Ziggler was in here last week. Dude, it's my ADD. What do you want me to tell you? Well, it's one hundred subscribers. Trying to make this show move along. <laughs> just say one hundred. One hundred. I have more than a hundred. Hundred and one now. It's very much. You realize so. any number other than 101 would have been funny. Okay. I got 140. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're at 202. Yeah. 101. 101 yeah. was everyone knew it was coming. I'm not going to teach you comedy. <laughs> I think you're cool. <laughs> I think you're by cool. the way, we're really high, so <laughs> bear with us. This is not a delay, it's freaking me out. All right, guys. Well, listen, you got to go. We're, we're, we're I didn't finish airspace. Oh, I want to hear about it. Predator prey. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't get it. I don't get it. No, you don't get it. Wait, your fisherman, you should get it, right? Yeah, no, I totally counter get shading. it. Countershading. I kind of get you it. You know countershading? Yeah. Fisherman. What is yeah. it? I don't know. <laughs> Why do you have to ask me set follow-up questions? I don't know, gay Doug Stanhope. <laughs> <laughs> the magician, I love uh, this magician. When you see a fish in the water, it's because you saw it's countershading. Like, fish are dark on the top and they're light on the bottom. Okay. All of them. Absolutely. Because if I'm on the bottom looking, looking up, up, you, you see the look light like the coming and you see his white belly. If I'm on the top, it gets darker when I look down. That's I can't right. see it. When you and I see a fish, it's because we saw what we shouldn't see. Ah. We're looking from the top, we saw the light. Right. So when I go into a wrestling room... You look for the light. I don't have... You don't You don't have to look for that when you're looking. You just go, did you see that fish? Exactly. I see that. That's yeah. why I know windows open. That makes a lot of sense. Up with the windows. It's a very good analogy. I'm drawing a blank on every analogy I've ever had. And, and, and anybody who doesn't yeah. fish has no clue what you're talking about, but it worked out wall. really good for me. Paint on the wall was my, one of my favorites. Oh, the amount of time you have to wrestle? Yeah. If your entire life is the length of, I'll say in the wrestling room, this room, yeah. I'll stand at one wall and I go, this is where you were born, and I'll walk across the room, I'll go, 10 years old, high school girlfriend, she's pregnant, Single mom, blah, 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 this, that, you're old, you're sick, you had a heart attack, you're fine, you're 90, you're 101, and I hit the other wall and I go, you're dead. So that's your life. Sure, that's my timeline. The amount of time you have to wrestle is the coat of paint on that wall. That's it. Let's go. I like it. I like that. Changes the thought process. Totally. Hiram Rios is watching. Kimberly Ring Allen is watching. She's a big fan. Big fan, and Andrea I went to high with her. One Let's of my talk good about friends. Andrea Spaulding. Hey, hey mm. guys! All right, listen. This is the Captain's Log. Jay Moore and Aldo off the Hook Comedy Club this weekend. We're wrapping it up. Changing We're going to be live on uh, 1039 right now. Tune in. We out.